I know. But we are going to get to that a little later. I just think that's so mean. Hey, um, do you think it's appropriate for a man to tell a woman to put a bra on? Oh. TV host and radio star Erin Molan was asked by her co-host Daryl oh. Broman oh, to put on a bra while they were chatting live on their 2GB Saturday radio show, The Continuous Call Team. Let's hear how Erin responded. Why don't Happy you wear time. a bra? <laughs> Can you wear a bra next time you're coming in? Daryl. Because she's sitting there, she's been adjusting herself for 20 minutes. I don't know what... Can you do something about well, that? You can, you've still got another I two and a half hours to go. I've got a child. I don't have time I know to get you've ready. Got a child. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have time? Well, you don't have to explain well, you yourself. You haven't seen her for six look, months. Look, 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 look at this bloke. I feel uncomfortable. Oh. Is there any need for you to mention that on air? Could you have not said it to her in the commercial break? I feel uncomfortable. Thank you. What? I yeah, feel enough. Like yes. Well, go put a bra on, you'll feel better. <laughs> well, why don't you well, put one you, on you, too? Because yeah, yeah. I'm not here adjusting myself. <laughs> wow. Uh, what do you think, uh, Norelda? Do you think this was appropriate? Oh, that's disgraceful. Mm. Um, does Erin sit there and tell Daryl, stop adjusting your nuts? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and the girl from the West makes a splash. There you go. <laughs> I think that's absolutely terrible because it means that he's looking at her boobs, yeah. which is just rot. They're on radio as well. So mm. now everyone's painted a picture in their mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and, it's, and she's saying, I'm uncomfortable. She said it through, you tell yeah. me. Yeah. I actually heard this because I accidentally left the radio too long after George and Paul and the, the footy show came on. And it's a football show, OK? Continuous mm. call team. They're talking yeah. about mm. rugby league. And it's a blokey environment. And Erin has forged this great, yeah. uh, you know, female presence within that show. And, have the, and I just went, yeah. real, I, I was talking at the radio, really? Mm. Really? That's what but, you're I mean, going to say? You know, she was obviously a, a little bit embarrassed. It seemed pretty warm and sort of friendly and that. Like, they were did all you, just what did you around. think of the I feel uncomfortable three times? Did you think she was talking about... She felt uncomfortable? I think she, I think she was a bit embarrassed. Like, she was obviously yeah. not... You know, she wanted to move on, but I think it's in the same way how we'd sit on this show and go, oh, that was awkward, but we're all having oh, a good time. Oh, be outraged on her behalf. Yeah, in yeah, yeah but she couldn't but very well say, I feel uncomfortable, boom. She's going to say it in a light-hearted way, and I'm sure there was more discussion after the show yeah. about that. Was and there? isn't she still breastfeeding? Didn't she just have yeah, a child? Yeah, I think she said that on the show. That's that said, I've got a child, as, I don't yeah, have time. He's totally to objectified her. As a her. listener, I'm, so I'm not going to be outraged on Aaron's behalf, but as a listener, I didn't want to hear it. Mm. Yeah. And I was just like, uh, you know... Daryl Broman, as the as one of the blokes said to him, maybe you're the one who should cop a bra. Right. Yeah, I've, 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 I used to sit next to Erin at nine. I've worked with Erin. Uh, she is one of the great birds in Australian media. Yeah. Not only that, she's a, a, a top journalist. Um, I think she, look, I, I I don't think she should have ever come up against it. But I think as well, I mean, this is a pretty tight team. We yeah. do we say some pretty blue things to each other. I wonder, and. and she is very close with Big Man. I yeah, wonder if right. she was overly offended by it. I remember when Mel McLaughlin had to face the criticism of Australia when everyone decided to get outraged on her behalf that a cricketer had said, let's go get a drink. And she just went, ugh, idiot. But she wasn't mm. totally outraged yeah. by it. And I, yeah. think, I think we've got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to put her in a position then where... Um, it looks like she's complaining. Do you no, think everyone was... is, like, once again, we're outraged on her behalf? Yeah, I think, I think, Angie, I think Angie's point is uh, right, though. Yeah. You don't, like, mm. Daryl Broman just needs to do better. She's, and she, I, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have liked to be in the car with Amelia when yeah, that conversation exactly. was happening. Yeah. And as one of his colleagues said, I'm not sure, well, it might have been Mark Levy, said... Could you not have said this in the yeah. commercial break? Yeah. Could you not? And, and, yeah. and as Aaron said, I'm on radio. Why does it matter? Like, yeah. no all of the hard work to break into the field yeah. that she has and to yeah. be reduced Are we to being a sexual there? object. I don't think... feel like that's what they were doing. I think it was just a bunch of friends just having a laugh and mucking around. Mm. And yes, she, was prob she probably got a bit embarrassed, but they moved on. Like, if, mm. if she comes out and says, yes, I felt really uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Can't I Fine. complain as a listener? Can't I say, yeah, I didn't sure. want to hear that? Yeah, I, that, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not complaining on Erin's behalf, not being outraged on her behalf. I just thought, really? Yeah, yeah and plus, if, if, if Amelia or someone else's yeah. daughter was listening, they'd be, oh, what are they talking about? Oh, they're talking about her boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, OK, it's OK to talk like, about her boobs. Like, there's FM radio programs where you expect to hear stuff like that that I wouldn't right. have on in the car with Amelia yeah. in the car. But 2GB on a Saturday afternoon, I, I would have thought probably pretty I've not, sad. never heard anything outrageous or offensive <laughs> on 2GB in my life. <laughs> I think it's a lesson as well that 
sometimes, and you know, when you're putting together hours and hours and hours of, of, of live radio or live TV, um, it's a real lesson uh, for people on air just to keep the in jokes away because yeah. it looked, it then becomes an us and them, and you need to you need to be mindful of of who's listening and who's watching. And you think that is tame compared to anything you hear any day on Kyle and Jack? Sure. You know. Sure. But you know what you're getting on FM radio. Yes, you kind you of do. expect a higher standard from AM. Because <laughs> it's a bit crackly. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a bit crackly. Okay. <laughs> Bring on the Sounds a bit vintage. <laughs> now, after the break, the test to see.